We will torture you. We will kill you. Fair D. We are talking about the 2017 movie Derelict, although it is now only just coming out um, on general release in 2020. This one directed by Brett Glassberg and is comparable, I suppose, to Rob Zombie's Firefly family in a lot of ways, or maybe the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and their kind of family dynamic. And it focuses on a suburban family who is somewhat dysfunctional, so we say. The father is having an affair, the mother is having a mental breakdown, the daughter is on cocaine, uh, the, the grandfather has kind of got this new girlfriend and seems to be more interested in shagging her than anything else, etc, etc. And they are um, the unwilling, essentially, hostages of this group of five derelicts, these homeless people that have kind of have their own kind of family unit, if you will, and invade their home on the American holiday of Thanksgiving, and a bloody uh, mess is had by all, shall we say. So let's talk about, first of all, what I think works in this movie. This movie is quite nasty in a lot of ways. It definitely has a grindhouse, grungy feel, and an almost somewhat mean-spirited uh, street running through it and as such the movie is quite hard hitting in a lot of ways um, all of the characters in this movie are unlikable in, in some degree um, and it makes it for somewhat of a unique experience in a lot of ways even our protagonist family you know they have their issues and like I've said they that they they are none. There's no real clear kind of like good guy if you, if you like. Maybe the daughter is the best, but even she is on kind of like a cocaine and stuff like that. So it does give it a uh, you know you you feel like you're watching something a little unique in some ways, um, and it makes it for some uncomfortable viewing. Now when we have this protracted scene essentially of this kind of Thanksgiving Thanksgiving dinner, you know things get progressively worse and the kind of the stakes are raised for you know both quote unquote families um and i think the 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 film is asking us as viewers to question what makes a family in a lot of ways you know and, and, and who seems like the worst family in, in a way the group of you know derelicts that are invading them um or the actual family themselves i mean to be honest with you this it doesn't ask you that hard but uh you know, it's. It, I think the movie is trying to have that message about ultimately kind of what makes a family unit at least and what it will take for people to have each other's backs and obviously maybe betray each other, things like this. I really enjoyed some of the characters here. Uh, uh, particular for me was the uh, the kind of the leader of their of the kind of the derelict gang who. Um, I don't know, he, he, he seemed the most well-adjusted in some way, it's certainly the most intelligent, but certainly crazed and kind of unpredictable as well. I thought he, he was, you know, he was fantastic. And I also quite like the, the performances from our, um, our kind of married couple in regards to the, you know, our, our, our family of victims, so to speak. I thought they were effective. The movie also is is fairly violent and, and has a a variety of scenes of different kind of tortures and and, and different deaths and things like that. Uh, it also go in you know somewhat kind of a uh, unexpected route in some in some areas as well. I thought that was kind of quite good. And the movie is quite well paced. It's actually quite a short film. Um, I mean, it's, it's technically speaking long enough to become considered a feature film, but just it's about you know 70 minutes or so it's not a long film um but because of that you know you do feel it kind of goes at a good pace and i think the, the comparable movies like the texas chance of massacre and also the kind of the the firefly series of movies you know in fact if you're fans of that sort of thing i think you'll like this but obviously it's on a kind of lower budget we certainly be into the negatives the budget here it does make things a little restrictive now there are a couple of instances where kills are happen off screen, and um, 
that I think will be a little frustrating because you do see some, but not others. Part of me thinks that maybe it's budgetary because obviously they are using practical effects and things like this. Um, but some of the effects work isn't the best, I have to say, both in terms of practical effects and some quite sort of cheap CGI effects as well. For example, we have like the, a blizzard outside and it's obviously a kind of like a filter. Uh, and, and it just kind of looks like that, if that makes sense. And things like we, we have like prosthetic fingers and, and, and all that. It, it looks um, a little cheap. There are some decent effects. There is uh, an effect where someone's eye gets sucked out. And that, that is quite good, I will say. And, the, the, and a few other ones as well. Um, the, for me, some of the characters suffered a little bit from being a little one-dimensional. There are some standout characters here, but they're on, on, the, on the flip side, there are, I feel, a couple of characters um, who didn't quite resonate. There's, there's a couple of the, the derelicts, uh, to me, that just seemed um, a little bit too cartoonish in, in, in some ways. Um, and also the kind of on the, on the other side, on the flip side of the uh, the family unit here, uh, we don't really know much about the son uh, who's this, who's, who's more or less played for kind of the comedic relief here, but he barely has any lines, so you know he doesn't really kind of have much of a character to be honest. Um, in, in all, when it's all said and done, there isn't a huge amount of plot here. Uh, I think the, the the movie asks more questions and in answers in a lot of ways. It kind of sets up these things like, you know, uh, the war between two families, but then doesn't do a huge amount in regards to um, expanding upon it. It's just more more of a kind of like an interesting question without really kind of going into much of an answer. Uh, but nonetheless, it's an entertaining and well-made film, particularly kind of for the budget, I feel. Um, and, and, and like I've said, I think this movie is certainly a, a movie that is makes you feel somewhat uncomfortable and certainly will do no favours for Help the Homeless charity campaigns, I would say that much. Um, but, you know, it will kind of make you look at your own family and think, look at your own sort of insecurities and things like that and... You know, maybe pick up the phone to members of your family who you haven't spoken to and things like this. So I do for the movie it's effective and, and it, it overall is well made. Limited maybe by some uh, budgetary restraints. But uh, nonetheless, it's, it's an effective view and experience I feel when, you know, like I've said, if you like those movies that I've mentioned already, I think you'll like this. So I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.